I'm going to show you an incredibly simple, uh, beginner friendly, but also very limited process using Paint 3D to create avatars for VR chat uh, that look pretty much like this. You're not going to get much more complex than this. Uh, but you don't have to use Blender at all. So if you need a starting point for learning how to make avatars, this is a great way to start, uh, especially if Blender gives you anxiety. If you want to dive in, there's other tutorials I've made that uh, have more complex starting points. And you might want to move to them later, do this now, whatever. Just one thing to note, this is not Quest compatible. Believe it or not, this is uh, too high poly for Quest. Uh, you're going to have to learn Blender t in order to decimate that. But uh, for now, I'll show you this. I'm going to take you through making this, uh, bringing it into Mixamo, which will rig it, uh, allowing it to move. And we take it to Unity, which is just where we apply the texture and upload it to VRChat. And then you get a uh, working avatar. So uh, there's no fingers, there's no visemes. It just dances. It's a great starting point for learning the basics of how avatars work and how to make them. And then later you can, you know, learn Blender or other tools and make more detailed creations. So I'm going to take you through all the steps from the start. Uh, so here we go. In Paint 3D and this, if you're on a Windows computer, it's installed by default. Just open up Paint 3D, create something new. and I'm in the, it'll, it'll start you off in, in the brushes tab. I'm in the 3D shapes tab. And what I'm using is the soft edge 3D doodle. You can also, hypothetically, uh, if you don't want to doodle it yourself, you can use this. Um, there's a male and female base models you can use. Um, that's up to you. You can paint on them. They will be Quest compatible, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do all the same things, but uh, starting with your own 3D shape. So with the soft edge doodle selected, you want to draw the outline of your character. And you're going to want to have two arms, two legs, and a head. You're probably not going to be able to do fingers. And the thing to note here is... Um, that circle where I started, it's going to start running out soon. See, that's the amount of detail I'm allowed to draw. So it's running out. So I got to get this last ear in without doing too many extra squiggles. And there we go, it's complete. Now this, as I said, is not Quest compatible. It's actually very high detail. Uh, if you bring it into another program, which is going to be a higher level complexity than this tutorial. You can make it quest compatible, but uh, just so you know. Um, this is the 3D shape we're, we're going to have from here on out. There's no editing it. The only other editing we're going to do is painting on it. Um, first step is to choose a color. So click it, and in the 3D shapes uh, tab, pick uh, edit color. And uh, it's going to make a bear, so that's good. Uh, now go to brushes, and I'm going to add some eyes and things, and you can spend all the time you want um, painting. It's very similar to other painting programs. It's just in 3D, so I'm painting onto the shape. you got to paint both sides. Um, I'm painting just onto the front of it here. You can change the thickness. I'm using the marker. Mostly, but um, there's a lot of different tools here you can try. Um, the watercolor with the opacity is uh, how dark you actually paint it on. So here it's it's very light. It's a very like a more like a paintbrush than a marker, just like in real life. Um, it's just gives some details. And the mouth isn't going to move. We're just going to throw it on there for character reasons. Do some claws. Whatever else you want to add. Um, you can also add texture. Uh, it's the stickers thing. Where you can add 
uh, anything to this. Uh, it's got some pre-made images you can put on there. And there, that's stuck onto the 3D shape. Um, you can import any image from your computer. Uh, and if you want to put random things like this on there, you just drag it around. Uh, let me, before I do that, you can go to the canvas and turn it off in the canvas tab. You really don't need the canvas. And sometimes if you can't move, I'm moving with the right click, you got to switch to 3D view. So back to stickers, you can put things on there. Um, oopsie. Control Z to undo or um, throw the sticker on there. There's an undo button around somewhere. Oh, there it is, the undo button. Just make sure I have it on the right side. There we go. And then it also has these textures, which, again, you can download seamless textures from the internet and add it here. Or you can just use this. And, uh, oh, let's do this pink thing for the belly. Detailed. I guess that's like rock or something. And then the check mark when you're done. And there that is mapped onto the 3D shape for us. Okay, so I'm going to say I'm done editing, and now we're going to add a skeleton to it. Um, I've made sure there's two arms, two legs. I go to Menu, Save as 3D Model, and that's fine to save it to this folder. We just have to make sure it is an FBX. That Save as Type drop-down, FBX. I'm going to give it a name, Bear. Now we are done with Paint 3D. We're moving on to Mixamo.com, which I'll have a link to. Um, you're going to have to make an account. It's free. It's an Adobe account. Um, once you do that, log in, and you'll get to this menu. Click uh, either button, Browsing Animations. But what we want to do is get into this menu so you can click Upload Character. And then... the uh, in your 3D objects, you're going to find the FBX that you made. Here it's the bear. And drag it into Mixamo. So it's uploading the character. This will take a moment. Mixamo, uh, it does a few different things. What we're using it for is just the auto rigging, which is basically adding bones so that it can move. Uh, right now, it's just a shape. And by the, uh, what I'm doing now is, according to the instructions, dragging in these things. This is the chin marker to the chin, dragging these to the wrists, dragging this to the elbows. And what we're doing is just giving it an idea of where the character's body is. Um, and since we made it asymmetrical, it's different on the left and right, we're going to uncheck Use Symmetry. So that means we have to define the wrist and elbows a little more carefully and this doesn't have to be perfect it's just giving an idea to the program uh, and this skeleton LOD it has an explanation here we're switching from the standard skeleton to the no finger skeleton the only difference being that it has no fingers because our model doesn't have fingers uh, you can use Mixamo for all kinds of models um, if your model has fingers it usually figures it out pretty well, sometimes it has issues. Um, but it generally can make a VRChat compatible rig out of pretty much any human-ish shape. And it just takes a few minutes. Um, once we're done with this, we're going to take it into Unity. You are going to have to install Unity. Um, I'll link this guide on how to set up the Unity SDK for VRChat. And you follow these instructions. Um, and uh, you that's how you upload the avatar. There's no way around that right now. So you will have to install that. But that way you'll learn Unity from this tutorial. So now we see the head's a little weird. 
if we had made the neck smaller, it probably would have uh, turned, been able to turn its head with a little less freakiness. Um, and don't worry that the texture isn't there. That'll be in Unity. This doesn't show up in Mixamo. So you can click on the different animations if you want um, just to try it out, just to look at it. It's nice to see your character moving. But once you're done with that, go to T-Pose. Type in T-Pose. Because that's what we're looking for to get it into Unity properly. You click on T-Pose. And then we click Download. Um, oh, the format, I think it can be any FBX, but FBX for Unity just to be safe. The skin has to be with skin. The skin being the, the shape you created in the first place. And the rest you can leave as is and click download. And so fairly quickly, without knowing anything about it, uh, we have this model almost ready for VR chat. So I told you this is Unity. I told you you have to download and install it and then install the VRC SDK for avatars. And that guide is here. On how to do that. I'm not going to go through those steps because it takes like 10 minutes to just for it to install. Um, so I'm going to close this scene. I'm going to open up a new scene and set up the, uh, the bear avatar, bear plushie, making a new folder. You can put the, them anywhere in this assets folder, but I try to stay organized. I'm going to drag from my downloads the bear at tpose.fbx into Unity Project panel. And there it is, and it looks like it's missing the texture, but we'll get to that. Uh, first, we're going to make sure animation type. I have this selected in the project panel, and this is the inspector panel. Under rig, I'm going to set the animation type to humanoid and click apply. Now, if a red error pops up here, you're going to want to read it and go to configure and try and set it up. But this looks good. This will work with the current version of VRChat. Uh, it used to be you had to get rid of this upper chest, but, but this will actually work. We don't have to do that extra step. The next step is to get the materials working. And in the materials tab, again, I still have this FBX selected. Um, the materials tab, I'm going to click the extract textures button. On something, uh, to note, um, I'll go over this later, but if when you're in paint 3d, I'm back in paint 3d and you use like the metal brush, it looks like this. Um, if you had used that, it would have made uh, the shininess map, the metallic uh, smoothness map, it's also called. And that would be this image here. And then this is just the, the colors. So I'm going to drag this into the scene so you can see it. I press F on the keyboard to look at it. And I'm going to drag the texture onto it. And there we go. Um, it's just created the material materials folder since I dragged it on there. I'm going to uh, make sure that this is white. It's all the way set to white. You just click on this and change the color. I'm going to turn the smoothness down just because I don't want it to be too shiny. Um, if you did uh, paint a bunch of like shininess onto it in Paint 3D like gloss or whatever, uh, this will have stuff on it. You can drag it into the metallic slot and uh, you will be able to see the shininess you painted on if you want like metal gloves or whatever. Uh, it, it will appear. It, it may have some glitches. The color may not come through on the metal parts. You might want to try and stick to gloss and matte as the, your two selections. But um, Here we are anyway. Uh, the next step is that this is really tiny, unfortunately. So 
uh, I'm going to set the scale to 100 in each of these with this selected in the scene. And that should be a decent height. You can tell how big things are because once you add the avatar descriptor, just so you know, you click add component, type in avatar, and if you've installed the VR chat SDK properly, it will be in there, and you click that. Uh, and we don't have lip sync, we don't have eye look. Those are things you'd have to do in Blender. Uh, I'm not going to teach that in this tutorial, but the other tutorial goes over that. Um, we just have to make sure we set the view position, which sometimes I'm told this, this thing doesn't work. But for now, it looks like it's working. Just so you know, this is like an average height uh, of an ordinary human being up here. Uh, so we can scale the plushie up or down depending on how big we want it to be. This is like a, I don't know, a foot tall or something like that. Um, and we want to bring down the, the view position when we're adding the view position right to right between the eyes. And it can be inside the head a little bit. That'll all work out in game. And there we go. This is uh, almost ready to upload. We're going to go to VRChat SDK, show control panel. And under Builder, we're going to see some errors. And all we do is click Auto Fix on these. You should, if you followed all these steps, not have any other errors. You're going to see that the polygons are 28,000, which is, uh, or something around there, which is too much for Quest. The rest is fine. It's fine for PC. Um, and you can ignore these kinds of errors. If you have any other red errors, you might have to deal with them, especially if you had any issues when you're in setting up the rig. Um, but let's upload this. Oh, it's asking me to save. Save the scene. You can ignore that. And this should only take a moment. Uh, the only other thing to note with this process, uh, the, the camera is not in the right place, probably because it's so tiny. I couldn't find a way to export it from Paint 3D where it wasn't tiny. But uh, if you go to the scene view, uh, I'll do that again. Go to the scene view, select VRC cam, and then position your view by scrolling in and pressing the middle mouse button to get where you want it for the preview. And then press uh, game object, align with view. And you see in the camera preview, the camera's been moved to the view. We look at this, there we go. That's how we want it. There as the title setting to public. You got to check this box, and that's how you upload an avatar to VR chat. This will only take a moment. Then we'll see it's in VR chat. Uh, I'll give you a little preview of how that goes just to show you. I look back at Unity, it's almost done. There. Uh, you can ignore this again. Uh, here we are. We're done with Unity. We're done with Paint 3D. We're done with Mixamo. It's in VR chat. And there, in like 20 minutes, you've created an avatar. Uh, again, not the most detailed, not feature rich at all, but this is a good starting point. You can also try the Sculpt Trees tutorial I'll also be uploading, which is the same steps except starting with a program called Sculpt Trees. Uh, you can also try the Blender tutorial, which basically teaches you everything. Let me load up the new bear, and there we go. The legs are working, the arms are working, 
it's a little glitchy, but I like it. It's got a, a little thing on the back. A little meme I threw on the back. Dances. For all intents and purposes, it's a functioning VRChat avatar, so congratulations.